Hi students, in this video, I am explaining the introduction of circular motion. The theoretical part of this chapter with various concepts is given in our website, which is free for all the students. So you just click the link given in the description box to get it free. What is circular motion? Whenever a particle revolves in a circular path about a center or an axis, then the motion of the particle is known as circular motion. Here we draw a circle. This is the center of the circle O. A particle is at point P on the circumference of the circle. R is the radius of the path. The particles revolve in a circular path in anticlockwise direction and after a small time the position of the particle is Q. Here the line joining OQ creates an angle theta with the initial position that is OP. This angle theta is known as angular displacement. Therefore, the angular displacement is the angle described by the radius at the center of the circle whenever the particle is in circular motion. The angular displacement is represented by theta here. This is the angle POQ. Now this can be represented as arc PQ by the radius OP. If the arc is represented by S, then this is S by R. Therefore, theta is equal to S by R. The SI unit of angular displacement is radian. The dimension of angular displacement is theta is dimension of S by dimension of R. As both the arc and radius is represented by length, then this is L by L. Therefore, angular displacement is dimensionless. Angular velocity. Whenever a particle revolves in a circular path, for a specific interval of time, there is an angular displacement of the particle. So we can say that the particle is moving with an angular velocity. Therefore, the angular velocity is defined as the angular displacement of the particle per unit time. If Here the particle is at point P and this is the center O of the circular path. R is the radius and the particle is moving in anticlockwise direction. Then for a small interval of time del T, The position of the particle is Q. 
then the angular displacement here this is del theta therefore the angular velocity which is represented by omega this is equal to limit del t tends to 0 del theta by del t this is equal to d dt of theta the si unit of angular velocity this is radian per second this is radian second inverse there is another unit of angular velocity this is known as r p m that is revolution per minute one rpm this is equal to one revolution by one minute we know that whenever a particle revolves in a circular path for one complete rotation, it covers an angular displacement of 2 pi radian. Therefore, 1 rpm is equal to 2 pi by 60 radian second inverse. The dimension of angular velocity, this is omega, this is dimension of angular displacement by dimension of time. We know that dimension of angular displacement is 1 that is dimensionless quantity and time that is capital T. There is a relation between angular velocity and linear velocity. Let us consider a particle is at point P which revolves in a circular path of radius R where O is the center of the circle. The particle revolves in anticlockwise direction. For very small interval of time that is del T, The displacement of the particle, that is, the particle is at point Q, the angular displacement here, this is del theta. Del theta, this is angular displacement. The linear displacement of the particle, this is PQ, this is represented by del S. From the definition of angular displacement, we can write that del theta, this is equal to del S by R. Therefore, del S, this is R del theta. As time del t is very small, then we can write that limit del t tends to 0 del s by del t. This is equal to limit del t tends to 0 R del theta by del t. This is equal to d dt of s and here this is r d dt of theta we know that d dt of s this is known as linear velocity v this is r d dt of theta this is angular velocity this is omega as velocity is a vector quantity then we can write at v this is equal to r cross omega
Whenever a particle rotates in xy plane in anticlockwise direction, then the direction of angular velocity is along positive z axis. Next, angular acceleration. The change of angular velocity per unit time is called angular acceleration. Whenever a particle revolves in a circular path of radius r, then if del omega is a change of angular velocity, for time del t and if del t is very small then we can write that angular acceleration this is equal to alpha this is limit del t tends to 0 del omega by del t. This is d dt of omega. The SI unit of angular acceleration is radian second to the power minus 2. The dimension of angular acceleration, this is dimension of angular velocity by dimension of time. So this is t to the power minus 1 by t. This is t to the power minus 2. There is a relation between angular acceleration and linear acceleration. The relation between linear and angular speed of a particle, this is V is equal to R omega. If we differentiate this equation with respect to time, then D dt of V, this is R D dt of omega. d dt of omega is represented by alpha and d dt of v this is linear acceleration a therefore a this is r alpha this acceleration is known as tangential acceleration note that acceleration a t here this is r alpha this is the rate of change of speed. This is not rate of change of velocity. Therefore, this is not equal to the net acceleration of the particle which is in circular motion. It is the component of net acceleration along the tangent. Therefore, it is known as tangential acceleration. The detailed explanation of tangential acceleration and radial acceleration is given in another video. Equations of circular motion with constant acceleration. A particle revolves in a circular path of radius r. At time t is equal to 0, Omega 1, this is the initial angular speed of the particle. Then the particle accelerates uniformly and alpha, this is the constant angular acceleration. And after time t,
omega 2 this is the final angular speed of the particle and theta is the net angular displacement for time t then we can compare the equations with linear equation like v is equal to u plus a t we can write omega 2 this is equal to omega 1 plus alpha t similarly a is equal to u t plus half a t square here we can write that angular displacement this is theta this is initial angular speed omega 1 into time plus half alpha t square there is another relation that is v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s we can write it here that is final angular speed that is omega 2 square this is initial angular speed that is omega 1 square plus 2 angular acceleration into angular displacement so omega 2 square this is omega 1 square plus 2 alpha t here i give you an example how those previous formulas are used in this problem a fan starts from rest rotates with 600 rpm after 10 seconds and we have to calculate the number of rotations of the fan for 10 seconds here the, the fan starts from rest therefore initial angular speed omega 1 this is 0 the final angular speed this is omega 2 this is 600 rpm the si unit of angular speed this is radian per second therefore we have to convert it so 600 into 2 pi by 60 radian second inverse this is equal to 20 pi radian second inverse the time is given time t this is 10 second so we have to calculate the number of rotations of fan We are taking that is n. So for one rotation, the angular displacement of the fan this is 2 pi radian. Therefore, for n rotation, the total angular displacement of the fan this is theta this is 2 pi n now initial and final speed is given we have to calculate the value of n here so we need the acceleration as the fan is moving with constant acceleration alpha then we can use the formula that is omega 2 this is omega 1 plus alpha into t therefore 20 pi this is 0 plus alpha into 10 therefore alpha this is 2 pi radian second to the power minus 2 the total angular displacement of the particle that is theta this is omega 1 t plus half alpha t square as omega 1 is 0 so this is half into 2 pi into 10 square this is 100 pi therefore 
100 pi this is 2 pi n therefore n this is 100 pi pi 2 pi this is 50 revolution 